One year ago, when a condominium building in Florida collapsed, killing 98 people. Today, people came together to mark the anniversary and to remember the lives lost. Andrew Deinbert reports. This morning marks one year since the tragic condo collapse in Surfside, Florida. And overnight, where the 12-story Champlain Towers South once stood, a vigil held for the 98 souls lost that night. It's left a lasting trauma for the victims' families and loved ones. We're still struggling. I'm still having nightmares. Pablo Rodriguez lost his mother and grandmother. His family still coping with an enormity of grief, his young son growing up and marking milestones like birthdays without them. He's still sad. He talks about them often. Gonzalo and Maria Torres fell in love in the 1960s. Cuban immigrants who owned and operated a local hotel, they called the Champlain Towers home for nearly 40 years, not knowing it's where they'd spend their final moments beneath the rubble. Their grandson Nick carries on their memory. There's a lot of great memories there. And still, there are stories of heroism from that day. The first responders and the relentless effort to find survivors. 15-year-old Jonah was pulled from the debris pile, badly wounded, but alive. As he started to heal in the following months, support flooded in. Jonah meeting the people who saved him, even throwing out the first pitch at a Marlins game. But the emotional scars linger. Every time the thunder goes for him, it's the building collapsing. And now some financial relief for the family still reeling from the devastating loss. This morning, one year after the tragedy, a judge has finalized a $1.2 billion settlement for the families, calling it remarkable. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York. Among the lives lost in that Surfside Florida condo collapse was Ilan Nabrief, a Hawaii Prep Aca Preparatory Academy graduate. Nabrief graduated from the Big Island School back in 2018 and had attended the University of Chicago and was working towards a degree in engineering and physics. His parents say their son and his girlfriend were in, in Florida for a friend's funeral. Nabrief was 21 years old.